Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. My name is Keisha and I blog every day at kjaggers.com. For those of you who are new here, the link is below. It's normally up top too. So today I am back with our household shopping haul. I know it looks kind of like a jumbled mess. We're gonna go through it all. Usually every two weeks I go out and do our household shopping, usually by you know itself. I don't do food shopping at the same time. There's just not enough room in the cart, um, and usually this stuff lasts us for close to two weeks. Sometimes we have to pick up some animal items maybe during the week, but generally every two weeks um, I do our household shopping. So this is quite a large haul. It was a couple hundred dollars, um, and I pretty much got a lot of stuff. So let's get started, and I'll take you through it all. So let's start with this area. Now I picked up a new Dynamo personal label maker. Um, this one um, was $25. It was very reasonable. It's got the cartridge. The cartridges are $7 a piece. I um, had a label maker and probably two or three years ago it went out on me. I guess it was tired of making labels. So I finally picked up another one. I hope this one is just as nice. We'll see. It's got a huge keyboard. You can see it's pretty long. There's my hand. So it's a definitely a bigger label maker than the one I had before. So I got that. I'm sure you guys will see labels on all kinds of stuff. And then for my planner and um, basically my my life. I picked up some more post-its. I love the graph paper ones and so I um, finally used all my pad up. I got another one and these are sticky. I also got this back in the school supplies. It was only a dollar. It has uh, some different um, post-its on it so I went ahead and picked that up. I also picked out some stickers because I do like using stickers in my planner. I picked up this one. Um, it's a road trip one. I also picked up these adorable owls, which I bought before. I picked up um, this one, and I also picked up these adorable sparkly letters. Love those. I also got the Scotch Expressions tape for my planner. Um, I like the design, and even though it's a little thicker than wasabi tape, um, I can still use it, I'm sure. So I got this one to go with the planner stuff. In the clearance aisle, I picked up this um, sticky notes, and these are see-through, and I don't have any of them, and they were $1.50 in the clearance aisle, so I was super happy with that. So that's kind of like the planner stuff, and I don't get the stuff every time. Um, so mostly I get stickers usually every time, but um, this was kind of special. I also, which they've already been taken out, got my husband some earbuds. These are just the JBC because the ones he were using um, were not that nice and they were kind of hurting his ears, he said. So he's been mowing the yard out there today. You might hear him run by with the mower, but he wanted to go ahead and get his earbuds out so he could um, use them while he's mowing. So health-wise, I only got a few things. I got some Advil PM, which helps me sleep and helps take away body aches, which I tend to have. And um, I wanted some more Neutrogena face whites, but Walmart was completely out. Um, so I got these ponds. Um, I don't know if these um, are nice or not. I mean, I would think they would be, um, and I hope they're, you know, wet enough. So we'll test those out and see how well they work, but I have a feeling they'll be fine. We'll move around this way. So pet-wise, I got uh, quite a bit of stuff. I got these Aqua Gems. Again, these were in the clearance aisle. I love the clearance aisle at Walmart. And um, I thought they would just look pretty in the tank, so I got two. Um, they were kind of unplanned. I got my cat some more of the Friskies Meaty Bits. This is a standard for them. They love Fancy Feast too, um, but if we're feeding the outside cats, it gets quite expensive. So I went ahead and just got a Friskies. For Cooper, I just got him more of the Purina One Smart Blend Dog Food. I got him the beef and brown rice. I also got the chicken and brown rice and his favorite, the lamb and long grain rice. And how I know it's his favorite, he eats this one up faster than any of the rest of them. Um, I also got the cat some Purina One Smart Blend 
for sensitive systems. I've noticed some of my cats, um, or one at least, somebody has been getting sick. And it could just be a hairball that's trying to come up. It's hard to tell which cat it is when we have four. But I went ahead and got this one for sensitive systems. Um, and Scott actually picked up some Purina kitten chow um, this morning and dumped it in their bowl. They were running low. So he went ahead and got one um, without realizing I was running to the store today. So I only had to get one. I also got a Tidy Cats litter, which, you know, we always need. And then I picked up um, some Ziploc baggies. These were not overpriced. I was actually kind of impressed. I just got the gallon and the quart. Those are my two favorite sizes to always get. Um, of course, the sandwich bags are nice, but I still like the quarts better because they hold a sandwich better. You know, it's not so tight and smashed. So I like um, the quart basically for everything. I got another box of the press and seal. So it took me a while to use mine up. I love this. Um, it works really well. I don't know how many of you guys have used it, but it's one of those items I love having in my kitchen because it's so fast and easy. Um, I saw these for the first time, the Dawn um, sponge cloths, and it says they're soft, flexible, and strong, and there's, I guess, how many is in here? Two? Two sponge um, cloths, and I thought I would give them a shot. I'll let you guys know if I like them, and if you try them, let me know what you think about them. Um, I picked up another bounce bar. Um, I do like these, but we use them kind of fast. However, with Jackson not being here, laundry is less. So, um, about a month, I was able to, it says three months, I guess a month and a half, I don't know. Um, I will have to replace this one because we use our dryer a lot. I picked up the Gain Scented Swifter Wet Jet cleaner we use this on our kitchen floors during like weekly cleaning and stuff i got another one of the clorox green works i've talked about these a million times in my favorites this one smells so nice um it, i'm shocked at how much i like it oh it smells great this is water lily and um it's you know coming in strong to my method and to my mrs myers dish soap this one's nice um, laundry wise, um, even though I just showed you the bounce, I got another cheer. This one is the 64 loads. I usually get the larger one with the pump, but again, Jackson's not been here, so I've been able to, um, use less. So I just picked this one up and I picked up one of the Clorox splashless bleaches. Um, I like this. I don't like worrying that if I, you know, or sloppy with pouring it in the washer. It's gonna spill on me um, or splash. I love this one. It's just thicker, that's all. I also got um, a double row of the Bounty kitchen towels. Uh, these have two huge rows and generally one row will last Scott and myself a week and a half. Again, if the kids are here, it's definitely not enough, but we have been able to shop a little bit lighter um, being that it's just him and I. I got some Scott toilet paper because um, it was a lot cheaper. It's toilet paper after all. Um, usually I go for the Cottonelle, but I just went ahead and got this one. Um, I also got some of the Lysol toilet bow cleaner. I am hooked on this stuff. It's disinfecting and if you just leave it in your toilet all night, your toilet would be super white when you wake up. Um, I love it. I got a two pack, one for the first floor and one for the second floor. I also got some more of the like Mr. Clean Erasers, but it's the Great Value brand. I usually pick these up at my dollar store, but I just went ahead and grabbed them at Walmart. I do find the Great Value um, fall apart a little bit easier, but I generally use these one time and I throw them away. I use it for my bathtub and my shower, and I use the same one for both, and then once I'm done, I toss it and we kind of move on. My husband wanted me to pick up some grass seed, and I don't know anything about grass seed, but he kind of directed me to this one. He's already used it once, and um, he's trying to get our yard to look nicer because, as you can see, I'll show you out the window. It's like a red clay here, and it's kind of hit or miss on the grass, so we um, are working on grassing the yard or seeding the yard, if you will. I also got two bags of the Great Value Cups. I got these styrofoam ones, 16 ounce. I also got these clear plastic ones um, that are also 16 ounce. And I know that 
um, you know, people complain that they're not environmentally friendly. They are recyclable. We do recycle them. We just really like them in our home. So we use a lot of plastic cups. It's quick, easy, and convenient. Um, Scott also requested wash rags. He was like, I can't find some of the wash rags. So I just picked up this cheap 18 pack. It was like $5. I like white because we can bleach them and um, I got them basically because he requested them. We do have a lot of wash rags, so. Um, I got another um, extra large drying mat. It's a microfiber one. This one, of course, is in red because a lot of stuff in my kitchen is red. But I have, like, a mint green one that I love. But if I wash it, I don't have one to use um, while it's, you know, being laundered. So I went ahead and picked up another one. I saw these adorable microfiber towels with little owls on them. I love owls. I think almost everybody does because they're so freaking cute. So I got two of those. They feel really nice. And there was actually quite a few towels back in the Walmart um, area. Um, in the back of the store that had some really nice towels. I was super impressed. I actually picked up different ones before I saw these, but you guys should check out their kitchen towels. They got some really cute ones back there um, in housewares. I also got some paper plates. Um, I've been using the plastic ones instead of paper, but I found that we just don't have enough of them and I haven't found a whole bunch that I can buy at the Dollar Tree yet. They kind of like ran out and never got them back in. So um, I went ahead and got some paper ones. Again, we can recycle those. So um, that will be completely okay. Last but not least, I got two more air filters. These are the 3M. They are the dust reduction, which we like because we really do think they help reduce dust in your home. We have two, one on the first floor and one on the second floor, so I got two of those. It's time to switch them out, um, especially if you have animals. Um, their hair and stuff will build up, and you probably need to switch them out a little bit more than somebody who, who doesn't. So that is basically my household haul. I don't think I missed anything. Um, and I got to get all this stuff put away. But I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. I didn't need any dishwashing soap because, like, for the dishwasher, my husband picked one up the other night. We actually ran out a little sooner, and he just picked one up so I didn't have to buy it. Or normally, that would also be a part of this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. Check out my blog at kjaggers.com. I have a Erin Condren Life Planner giveaway going on until the 31st. You still have time to enter so be sure to check that out and I will see you guys really really soon thanks so much for watching bye bye